Nigerian Bulldog Nation, welcome to Eric Dieter's Local News, sponsored by Dieter's Consulting, Parks Yoga, and check us out on all of our platforms. Before I get to the news, I want to hit the Cincinnati Enquirer, Kentucky Enquirer with something. College football is played on Saturdays, right? Today's Tuesday Enquirer, using USA Today, reports on all the college football games on Saturday. Obsolete sports section is the Enquirer. All right, let's get right into law and crime. This gentleman right here, Steve Sumner, is wanted for inappropriate conduct with a minor. He's apparently hanging out maybe in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Not the place I would go, but you never know. Samuel Ancra, right here, is charged in the death of Jessica Taylor. What was his crime? He rear-ended a motorcycle. Jessica was the passenger on the motorcycle, died. And he took off. The driver of the motorcycle was injured, but he did not die. Nicole and Peyton Flynn have been charged with having like a bunch of horses that are hungry and starving. You know what? Don't own an animal you can't take care of. And speaking of that, now this one is a little bit funny. Billy Coleman pictured here, got into a fight like at a convenience store uh, in Letcher County, Kentucky. And the cops came and broke them up and everything else. Lo and behold, now this is both sad and funny. Something can be both. This guy and his wife were living in a van, not down by the river, but with 30 dogs in the van. <laughs> 30 dogs? Crazy. John Stevens right here, who thinks he looks like Mark Hamill and did Luke Skywalker imitations, has committed suicide. He was charged with like 11 counts of disgusting sexual things, again, with minors. Pac-Man Jones was arrested yesterday, uh, pulled off a plane at 6 a.m. at Greater Cincinnati Airport. They said he was drunk, belligerent, and all this stuff. He said he was just pissed off. He couldn't find some place to charge his phone, I think it was. He says it's in it's with a bunch of crap. Pac-Man Jones is in trouble again. Oh, well. Michael Taylor and Tiffany Smith, pictured here. Uh, I, I want to elaborate a little bit on this, okay? They have a child that was found out on a public highway with nothing but a dirty diaper. It was a full diaper, too, out in Butler County, and they've been arrested. And when I look at these two folks, you know what I see? I don't know if I see evil or if I see complete brokenness. As I do this local news day after day, Monday through Friday, and folks like this pop up, you know, you, you, you could just go ahead and guess and extrapolate backwards their lives. Broken, brokenness in the homes, issues all over the place. Just, so you go down a certain path and you just keep, you know the key? Good, solid families from the get-go. Does that mean everybody works that looks, you know, turns out okay? Hell no. You got the best damn family and somebody goes south. But percentages and odds are less people. I mean, you know, well, that guy there looks a little bit like Charlie Manson, don't you think, Sabrina? All right. Four more people have been arrested. They're going to arrest the whole block. They've been arrested in the death of Seth Burns in Independence, Kentucky. People that were involved in, this apparently was, they arrested these folks for like rioting and everything. I mean, it must have been a hell of a show down in that cul-de-sac over in Hunter's Green and Independence. Unfortunately, that nice young man there, Seth Burns, lost his life. In local news, this is the interim president at NKU. The full-blown search, I think they're going to make an announcement tomorrow for the uh, permanent. I cracked up. I saw this, okay? Do you know how many people are on the search committee for this? Like 50 freaking people. <laughs> uh, the, way, the way institutions and corporations do stuff. Ugh. You know, just all the everybody involved. And, uh, 
Since he vote in November, you know what you're going to get to vote on? Increasing your income taxes for more affordable housing. I bet you it goes down. Daniel Fox, pictured here, Florence firefighter, is going to walk 343 miles in full equipment to honor all the first responders who died in 9-11. Good for him. You talk about a dude that's going to be in shape. Kenton County Farm Tour. I've gone on this, I think, nearly every year. It's usually been on a Saturday, but it's October 1st, 9 to 5, uh, on uh, a Sunday. And uh, my wife always goes down to Clintrip Farm to get her pumpkins. So it's, it's usually a beautiful day, beautiful time. All right, Joey Votto, more in local news. You ready for this? Joey comes back. Remember he came back last time and hit a home run and all this stuff? We ought to just like sit Joey and bring him back when we really need a bat. He hit the longest home run, 437 feet in Major League Baseball this year. <laughs> when he came back over the weekend. Crazy. And Kentucky news. Trump is going to be in Lexington for a fundraiser on September 22nd. More information to follow. It's one of them high dollar ones. DeSantis is in Lexington today for a high dollar fundraiser. You got 16 grand, you can go. All right, this is a funny story. Wright Elementary in Shelby County <laughs> is relocated for a week because they got bat infestations. There's no room, there's no truth to the rumor that Albert was seen walking the halls and Bruce Wayne was seen leaving the school in his Batmobile. Sabrina, that's nothing but a rumor. And last but not least today, uh, this kind of Indiana and a Kentucky story. Jared Nichols is a Batesville police officer and Riley Durstock were injured in a car wreck in Marshall County, Kentucky. We hope they're okay. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. You have a great one.